okay so first of all project like project uh, life cycle try to understand this is the very very important okay here you can control whole project setting that py according to your requirement database setting all setting app setting everything you can set here in url because as per uh, framework okay so there is url is here is very very important okay everything once creating function everything url here is control suppose here url and app here created then here first include that app otherwise it's not considered this project once include then this app url you can start work development this is the procedure okay then suppose here app to and just uh, one minute i'll first set the environment okay then i'll run first how to activate the environment anyone source post env okay script activate Now city block app ah. ls okay now now always you can run the local server you can first this manage that py you can first find you can go that path because this is the default app two app I am created app one app two this is the project app project folder database is default then manage that py okay. Then Python manage the py run server. You can see it's created, okay? Local server, port number 8000. You can see here is only one app is available. Another app, where is? Because here is, you can see app one, then app two. Where is app two? because I am not included here. Just copy, here, paste, okay. Then here, I just mentioned up to, up to, okay. Now, still in error, okay. Why? Because you are not registered. Here, register. Otherwise, Django project don't understand, okay? Come. Again also, error is coming. Why? After registration also, some error is coming. Why? Because you are not setting in URLs. You can see up to URLs, not model form. So then what to do? You can go in. Here, okay. So here you can create in one file. What file? URLs. Dot py. What is that? URLs. Dot py. So like that, app one URLs. Dot here. You can just copy. This is the basic things you can import. Okay, library. Django. Dot urls import path. Then form. Dot views import stuff. This thing you can import then then just and just copy it here okay and then app one is the app two urls i just paste here i'm just removing because this is the url is different now blank now i am running let's see no error are you clear any questions now you can see it's included in app, app two clear Mansi and uh, away yes so after that yes. how, how how to you can create multiple apps how to control in because it's a default is admin app one app two we are created this is the app but 
everything project will be controlled here blogger okay urls multiple apps means you can first you can include in app here then python will be understand then url set it here include then comes in apps then set in urls py blanket when you will be starting development then procedure is via is here you can see here is home means this is the one function you can here uh, views this is the one function and http responsive okay so this is the one url home url here i'm just giving the home url so url like that you can give it but before url setting this thing you can import okay so this is the step by steps apps how to include and all but question is that here uh, urls it's a default url is here our url it's okay fine so here default admin how it's working first you should know then admin you understand then go for the models because admin who you can register model model means here database object relational mapper concept here okay so those things will be learned but before learn admin some glance i'll be explain because it's a default okay how to control admin and uh, how to model is uh, one start everything i'll be explain but right now just show you example okay now you can see i'm open here uh, one uh, admin note okay you can see setting up the project creating app defining model creating app already done defining a models model because i'll be register in admin okay first i'll be creating this app to i'll create in one uh, models okay so models create means click it models okay so then here you can see steps is here note i'll be share after finish the class you can see django admin start project school okay this is the project name school create app startup students okay app name is students okay then installed app in students okay those things already completed create an app okay app already once created then we'll be starting students step this app student app inside model step py you can start the models so now i just creating in this class okay one minute model topic is coming then i'll explain everything in model right now just just understand how to create in model okay now i'm creating in one model two models means two tables student table material tables student uh, table how many columns three columns then material table how many columns three okay so three column i am creating and this topic i'll be explain next class today just admin i'll be explain then model it will be take time it's a very very important how to how to create so all those things but right now just watch models models you can see here uh two models i am just creating student then material okay student material here model is many 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 to many fields means you know no, foreign key relation one to many many to many okay so those relation okay materials so just i'm creating then once model you can create immediately what will be run now i am running no error but still no database how to check you can see yeah. Let, uh, one minute one minute open uh, you can see 
that day we are connected in no? one database. Okay, my school connected, I think. Okay, let's check. Here is my school. Uh, okay, database, how to check? You can see here. Okay, database is here. Our database name is BlockDB, right? BlockDB, I'll be open right now. Okay, my SQL workbench. This is the database backend. Now I'm open. See, this is the GS database, DB. Okay, Guru School DB. Okay, I'm here using the databases. Okay, Block DB. Okay, so our our database is here. Okay. Here is all tables you can see. It's a default group, group permission, permission, group authentication user, authentication user group. Here is all inbuilt. Once you have to create the project, this thing will be constables. Either database, any database connect, then migrate, make migration, then migrate. This thing will be happen default. But right now I am creating in what? Up to, I'm creating two tables. But up to here, you can see. No tables here is displaying, OK? Student and material. Now you can see. And here, meet migration, OK? It's a created two tables. Okay. Then still is not permission authentication is not uh, given in still in Django project. Okay. Just created in table. After that, what to do immediately? Migrate. Okay. You can see everything is admission, content type, session, migration. Everything is done. Now I am running the project. Okay. No error. Now I am just refreshing. You can see student and uh, material student. It's created or not? Yeah. So up to because it's a relation, that's the reason it's a created multiple tables, but it's created or not. Yeah. Student table up to you can see which which app regarding which module you can create, that also automatically comes. Suppose app one I'll be create, then app one, then table name, app one, table name. So now I'm creating in app two that table name material and uh, student okay so here it's it, it's created right now okay so this thing i'll be explaining tomorrow but right now its table is created okay those table once created then django is given what default admin is given the default admin it's a it's a very good advantage compared to php in other language because by default, uh, you need uh, some admin, okay? Any any project uh, admin is by default is needed because you can control that project, okay, backend, as a owner. So admin is by default, they are given, okay, Django. So how to, how to log in this Django administration? Slash admin, your local port, just admin, click it. Then this thing will be comes ready made already. Uh, Django is given no need to design everything. Django admin is created. Just how to enter? You just go here. Control C. What is the command? Anyone? How to log in? Any anyone? One C and Abhi. Any idea? How to how to log in in admin? Mm, create super user. 
good idiot super user okay it's coming okay just i'm taking in happy email id it's a depend on me okay password uh, i'm just giving okay time giving it's uh, okay yes created successfully okay then run server it's local server is created okay now as we go okay so now i'll go here password i'll be giving here username is happy and uh, happy and the way to happy yes. are you see it's a default it's a user your your login user details here available it's a default Okay, user tables. You can hear permission and name, modify it, okay? Which is staff permission, everything here is possible once you can uh, create in user login, okay? So that's a different thing. Once topic will become, then I'll be give the permission user, which major means user will be do what kind of activity, okay? That permission here you can give in. That says later. Right now, no need, okay? So now just, understand how to admin to this is the default authentication authorization two tables is here register python sorry django and looks like it's a ready made it's a you can view your site just click you can see okay app app two is no url right now okay nothing will be displaying now so that's the reason it's uh, not coming okay here suppose url app url one minute url is home so the home url and we keep here no problem okay because url is app one still i'm not given any function anything okay confusion why it is two not one it's coming in it because because app one app two app one url you should given means first app one then home then it should come okay soon what to do uh, we are we are learning today in admin part so admin part first of all uh, once model is uh, created, now table is created. Backend you already see table is created, but still you can see admin is not reflecting. Okay, why? One minute. You can see no table is reflecting, and here you can change your password, log out, visit to your site. It's a backend user. What is the username? It's a display and Django admission administration default is coming now i want to here store means create like that add change okay whatever table that should here will be register how to register so you can see here in the steps you can go first this is the default is once admin pay, py you can open then it should come okay so app.py admin.py you can see this is the library it should is default is there but which module which models you are created so that's a post you have to include in admin because you want to register backend should come okay first you can student like that forms.models import student and materials right these two tables then what to do admin dot site dot register student
I am registered right now. Now we can check in uh, where it's coming or not. Up to that admin through, you can control material students. You can add it data also here. Okay, here students suppose uh, um, Hari. Hari. SSS. You can see why it's Hari SSS is coming because your model you can return in first name, last name, student table. Suppose I'll be add material, then title only come. You can see here title, suppose. Uh, it's a it's a kkk description something okay student is hurry yes okay because it's a relation i'm just assigning this student table this hurry okay now you can see it's a store okay but question is that here is material is coming in KKK. KK is material I'm giving na? here. You can see, click it. Here title is what? Triple K. Okay. Now I'm save again. KK, triple K is title. Why it's coming? Because here you are returning. You are written in multiple description here, then it should come. You understand? Suppose here, then tomorrow this topic will become, then I'll explain. Just show you. Okay. Here you can see title, then description. Okay, now I'm just come here. Now it's the only one is showing. It's coming in it. this thing, description. Yeah. Previously only KKK title is coming. Now it's description is coming. In this way, you can manage in model level which one first uh, default will be so then you can do admission uh, administrative through which one you are give that say search option filter editable that's a different thing but de default return in admin panel that's so you can model level you can return that's a model is next class i'll be explain but right now admin you understand up to that any questions both of you Okay. Then you can see those things we are done. Okay. Okay. Then you want to custom admin. Okay. So before custom admin, you can import in this thing. Okay. This library. Um, one minute. Example adding. Let's just I'm updating. Okay. Pressing import get list. You can this library. Then what to do? I want to because default you are login. Here is coming. Uh, okay, log out. You can see login here is coming like that i want to change according to project your project supports xyz why will be django administration is coming you can change your according to project xyz admin yeah administration okay so how to change it uh, those things let's say tp so now the here also inside once login also here coming 
then site administration those things you want to change how to change it this is the command okay what is that class custom admin site you can you can take okay now we can uh, register okay <coughs> this is the command <coughs> directly you can register li like that okay uh, that table will be reflect where uh, here up to yeah, two tables only reflect here once register then it should reflect but right now i'm custom admin through and controlling okay admin side because this is the default admin side we are control our own this is the default is given this admin side how to control the all are given this is the uh, what uh, this methods is given okay this function through you can control so how to how to control then site header site title it's uh, already is given uh, admin site regarding so i'm just mention here my school administration my school admin then index title is welcome to my school previously what happened already show you here you can see site administration django admin so django everything is same now i'm changing site header site title index title okay so now you can see i'm ready once done then here uh, custom admin site one variable through then this site will be named as a custom admin okay uh, register just okay so now you can see here once register now i'm log out Why it's not registered? Why it's not changed? One minute. It's a uh, app to you can URLs. No errors coming. One minute, hold, I'll check. Jungle administration, okay, let's see. Only side error, why it's not coming.
वन मिनट आल चेक वाई विल बी नॉट कमिंग कस्टमर हैव बीन सेट Let's. This is the way admin site. My admin site title. Let's it. Direct uh, using okay. Let's check direct. Then control admin through. I'll be check up. Okay. One <coughs> yeah, it's change. Okay. You can see in this way you can directly change. Yeah, you can custom admin through. You can change why it's not happening because no error is coming. Later I'll be say because it's an inbuilt. Uh, they are given admin. Uh, uh, you can editable option site header, site title. Okay, then directly I'm admin uh, through. Like that you can inside one admin through. You can control. Otherwise, I'm directly here. Register site header, it's a uh, site title. Just one second here site title equal to of it mention then index title. Okay. index title then what you want to display according to your project you can mention here sorry okay now no error why it's coming okay no error okay successful local server is running now i am entering in admin previously what happened default is coming django administration i now it's coming my school administration then i am logging in happy password i am just put it you can see my school administration welcome to my school admin previously what happened Are you clear? Yeah, any questions? It's a header means site header once entering. Okay. Then site title means this one. Then index title here. Clear? Yeah, any questions? Um which one is the header and which one is the title again? Sorry. Uh you can see. This one is site header means okay. You can see I am here mentioning one. Okay, 
then here is two here is three so site header which one will be update one you can understand site title means my school admin two okay then index title means three admin three okay so now i am just here refreshing you can see clear yes thank you okay now once log out okay my school administration okay it's a one okay then here is coming my school administration one okay Minus site title admin two admin two where is it's okay okay one minute click click Okay, later we'll be check. Okay, those things. Where is site title? Index title is coming and my school, but it's an individual using. You can control in through the admin through. Okay, but it's a default. You want to change entering according to your project admin uh, site entering site uh, uh, site and uh, header and site title index title, but our own table how to control. Okay, so just for hold for one minute. hello sorry so it's it's you can control also here why will be not happening i'll check okay this uh, custom administration through you can once register then these three things you can control here okay so next class i'll be explained but how you can this table you can control i'll be explained okay so now you can see here okay see here uh, material admin student admin because i am just registered it's a default is coming but default only you can click in here you can see only click here it's only here is showing by default it's a returning what it's a showing okay uh, you want to delete you can delete it okay then edit option means you can here click it edit it okay but you can control whole table here admin to how to control here you can see i'm just taking in those two okay so now i'm putting in here
see those is built in okay function is given admin regarding you cannot use in this in views and those okay admin page it's work list display search field okay those things how it should work okay now you can see i am using you already register this material admin uh, material table regarding it's a student admin student table regarding then admin dot model admin then uh, admin dot model admin okay so first this table try to understand list display title and description then search field is title previously what happened it's uh, nothing will be showing search field and uh, uh, those things okay now you can see i'm register okay so now i just search one minute title list display and search is title no issue why will we not reflecting can anyone tell me why any idea because i am creating within this uh, uh, table admin through we can control list display search field this is the built-in okay why will we not display because still i am admin created here we can control those tables means material regarding material admin will be controlled student regarding student but still this things i'm not registering where this comma and then student admin comma here previously not a simple and directly register default is coming now i'm register through we can use in this function okay now i'm open admin It's coming here now. Previously, I'm just whatever returning in backend model created when I'm, when that time, just this column is coming. But right now, it's coming in all columns. How? You can see material two title and description. But you can see yeah, we can also return in uh, more column uh, because here you can see the table is uh, student is email also. No material, no. You can material here is student also. Student also you can return. Okay, no problem. You can go here. Admin. Comma. Student. No. No, it's a uh, one too many. Okay. Okay, relation is there. That's the reason it's conflicting. Okay, so now you can see uh, here right now editable option. Editable option is the one of the like that list display I'm displaying, and uh, search field means here previously it's not coming now. This one, it's coming now. Yeah, you can see student also coming, material also coming. Previously only this thing is happening. Then uh list display which which column you want to list display display search field like that it's coming based on title because right now one data how to i'll be search multiple data then i'll be search then you can add it okay suppose here h h h okay so now i'll be adding again like that okay then j i'm searching in h it's coming only h related okay now i'm searching in k k is only related is coming data okay 
this is the inbuilt just use in this search field then which column you want to filter out just, just mention that's it then uh, another thing is uh, uh, material admin through list in filter out it's uh, also one uh, one of the method okay so how to filter out i just copy okay Give me one minute. It's also one of the method. Okay. Filter and editable. Editable is default is given. You want to suppose here default is given now. Here I want to this one is editable. Click button. Like that. A mouse is taking here. Editable is coming. Here is no. I want to change in this field. Then how to change it? And list filter. Now you just see this thing is. Here is functionality here. Here is search and add material. Nothing is there. Now I am adding in list filter. Okay. List filter in student. Then here I am just adding in email. Okay. Email field. Based on email. Now you can see it's a filter is coming here now. Here, this side. Material student, you can data. You should add, add then it, it it's uh, good for means you can filter out uh, everything. You can check it by default. It's come all. Then by email you can search. Then you can search it. Okay, clear it. Default all will become because right now one email. Then it's I'll be add some data. Then I'll show you next plus something dummy data. I'll be insert. Then I'll show you. So the least filter you understand yeah no. you can base then you can filter out okay then another thing is editable okay Django admin editable field okay so what is that Django admin editable field okay. everything is data is available okay so editable field means search field. Search field already show you. Okay, fields for fields, I think. Okay, list editable. List display list filter list editable. Okay, I just use in here list editable. Then let's see here. I'm using here is editable option is which column title. Okay, now I want to here put it. I just copy here paste. Just give in one column. Okay. It's coming next time. This. It's the same. Okay, no issue. I'm not using here because it's a relation. Copy and here paste it. Okay. Here now is I think first name is editable. Now I'm giving last name. Okay. List editable means I think multiple we have what one Yeah, list editable means single, it's a by default. Okay. You can take in multiple editable, then you can use in list editable. Okay. Now I'll be open here and uh, admin. 
okay student and using yes student admin i'm using in editable okay previously what happened um, okay here okay editable means uh, multiple column uh, means it's a multiple columns here you can editable but but problem is that here you can click you can editable it's coming but you want to editable in that uh, here which column directly then you can list editable but this mouse is uh, by default it's coming then i want to this field i want to change then what is that i'll check just comment it you can use in list editable multiple editable field now it's no now i want to change in this thing um, mouse click okay so what is that any any idea um, anyone click function i think edit click money any idea once I want to click by default, it's coming in there, but I want to uh, click in another phase. Clickable Django admin clickable link. Okay, you can search like that because nobody is the uh, know all those fields. Because you procedure, you understand once creating table admin first register. Then particular table you want to admin through, you can control, you can uh, do it, you can understand, then all everything is available in net, okay? So how to do it, you can uh, uh, do it, okay? Field set, okay, yeah, right, field set. Field set, uh, let's check. List display link, list display link, list display I already show you. See, we will add okay. Okay, let's uh, I'll add here. Will set okay. Will set uh, and just. Uh, Just put it in last name. Okay. No, no error. Okay. Let's see. Login. Bad response. What is that uh, function? I forget it. Okay, you can try it. Okay, so clickable because nowadays is so many third party. How means admin through we are using in override concept. So many libraries available. How to override and those there also uh, function method is different. So no need to remember. But procedure you can understand. Then everything is neat is available. So admin through you can control whole table so many function is available you can check if any problem i can explain okay next class uh, you can ask me i'll explain but my task is you can do it here is clickable i want to hear clickable like that it's a uh, coming in. i think least editable least editable yeah something one minute let's check will set you can check i'm audible one c and you can see here okay i will 
Oops, suppose this to display. Last name is right now is available. I just put it last name. Okay. Put it okay. Why is error coming? Unexpected error. Least editable. Okay. I think indentation error. Okay. Let's check. It must be least or top okay <laughs> let's uh... i think maybe you can try um like for list filter after email there's the comma but there's no comma after last name maybe just try the comma and then it'll like like you, maybe you don't need to add the email maybe you could just add the comma and it'll recognize as a list okay let's see just... list with one element i don't know in this editable I'll already show you now. I need in click. You can share the code. Anyone? Yeah, list display. Yeah, you can search it. Okay, everything I want change means admin through. I forget it. Okay, because you know how to admin register. This thing means all remaining things is available. Nobody. But basic things you understand, then you can drive your 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 drive. Okay. Now you can see used to display link, okay, but uh, cannot list editable, okay. Now it will come it out, okay. Those things. Now no error. I hope this thing will happen. Okay. No. I want to okay yeah it's happened you see na last name previously it's not clickable na are you clear away away I'm not able yeah 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 so now it's clickable yeah not previously only oh. hurry I'm by default is returning hurry it's okay fine it's editable back end label that's a model model tomorrow I'll be explain but admin label, I want to click here. Yeah, here click. Then you can use in this uh, list display link. Okay. What okay. happens when you click it? What, what? Just what, what happens when you click it? Is it just edit? Yeah, click it. Yeah, here oh, you can see okay. update. Hurry, replace of uh, uh, Hari update. Okay, update. Anything. Okay, SS something okay you can mail id update okay. here you can see it's a changes oh okay oh okay it's updatable means click 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 permission will be given here you can see it's no clickable only it's static but yeah. default admin label here i'm returning where model level returning uh, those thing only it's uh, editable okay so otherwise default uh, that should editable one column but but you want to multiple column edit uh, editable then like that you can use in uh, search click link click button means click then editable clear up to that admin yes try to practice i'll be share this file okay okay this file I'll be share, RAR file I'll be share now. You can uh, your end practice, okay? 
this project file i'll be share right now okay this is okay. the project okay now i'm close it project then go for here where is project uh, path django batch 2 okay now okay. here django um can you also share the um the microsoft word yes yes the... Def definitely i'll just share i'll share add to archive okay i'll archive uh, rar you need the archive okay your mail id you can share compress and go run and email okay no i'm not setting only post rar it okay Add to One minute. Okay, your your mail ID. You can uh, okay this project. I'll be mail you. Your mail ID is there now. You just chat me your mail ID. Um, can you put it in the Google Drive folder? Or... Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Project folder. I'll be uh, Django project folder. I'll be put it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that that might be better. You place. can how how to open even on that. That's just un um, it means rare file. You can first unzip. Okay. Once project okay. is coming, then comes in uh, this VS code. You can come here file. You can open that folder. Okay. Once okay. open folder, like that it's coming. Then first you can activate this environment. How to activate you know environment. Yeah. So the, activate the source. source this environment name, then scripts, then activate. Okay, okay, then you can activate. Once activate, then you can come here this project. Okay. Because uh, here is your your managed at py here, local server. First you can cd, you can move in this project, then here you can find in managed at py, then Python managed at py run server. Then you can start your development work. Okay. 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 Any questions? You can do your end admin. You can research it. How to overwrite admin. So many things is there. I'll be complete. Then it's not happening. Okay. Basic things I'll be come explain it. Okay. Your end R and D do it. Admin is like that. It's working. Okay. Okay, Manchi. Any questions? No. Okay, do it, practice it. Okay, your input also need uh, admin go through YouTube. I'm recommending Ratan Kumar, you know, na. so you can in your depth drive, you can do it. Okay, because I am topic wise, I'll be just guide you and path will be given because I'm also still working in 12 year and not deep drive because as per requirement, you can do it. But but concept, how it's a framework is working, you know, then then you will be work start and searching. But you will be not, architecture you will be not understand, then nothing will be happen. Whatever I'll be teach you, nobody will be teach you. Because it's a, uh, a teaching means only the procedure we will guide in this way admin is working, in this way view is working, URL is working, but one URL, your yeah, views, so many things i'll be explain suppose in six months yeah one year it's not complete you understand no? my question my intention so admin i'll yeah. just explain the basic things admin so many things override concept is there so many how to this default i don't want to use i use in my customized admin then how to use so many library is there Suppose I'll be take that also take in two month course admin level. So that's not possible. Okay. So I'll be explaining basic things, concept understand. Everything is available in net one by one. Do it. One project you can do, then you can understand. Okay. Okay. So I'll wind up. I'll uh, when will be uh, next class.
next class as usual okay saturday i'll be taking due to this durga puja just discontinue otherwise no problem okay as usual okay okay no issue okay, okay. thank you both of you thank, thank you, you.